Last time we got to see a 9Z, we were very happy to see Max performing well. We'll see if he can take out Sword early. He's climbing over the top of mid, now taking a bit of control of the side. Looking as the first player to crack open, as Stewie will reply for EG. And look at the ramp push forward for Automatic, but Rox is holding. EG needs to get through the lobby position. Automatic waiting. Smoke off Squeaky, flash on through. Breeze to lead the charge. Yeah, Breeze could be aware of the CT that possibility, but dealing with Max is a different story. Breeze goes down. Now Rod's trying to come in from heaven, but treaded out again. EDT and Max will follow up. A single player left of Automatic. The highest ready for EG, but the time is certainly not oh. enough. And Automatic's just hitting shots. And of course, he will be conceding the pistol. He's trying to bring everybody oh. down. That is so clean from Automatic, but in vain, really, because 9Z have the pistol. Yeah, well, we talked about the aim. We talked about his individual ability. You get it on show right there. Time being the qualm. Yeah, so well, this is big. Found. We'll see if they can crack open 9Z or going quite quickly again into this top site. Wrapping around with the back 10. Breeze not ready for it, and he will go down. Rush towards the back of the side. He's managed one out of the Deagle. And now the rifle swings up from Automatic. Carrying him through, and he will find himself all of the impact. Putting Max alone into the 1v4. This is such a difficult round now for Max and Automatic with that impact immediately out the gates here in round number two. Scooped on through. What a fantastic round for EG to win. Now, we didn't do predictions before we got this one underway, Dinka, but if you were going to put your money where your mouth is, I know you mentioned it yesterday, we won't be taking contact first if they swing wide. You can see Cirque holding off this line towards back of red, and actually, Stewie's the first to poke up his head. One spotted. It's exchanged, and that's a shot from David there. Stewie's down. Now the all get raised should have the scope's advantage messy. automatic. Oh, it is messy indeed. Watch we start covering up. Oh! oh! Breezy goes into the fight, but looking on the upgraded weapon, is able to find the pick back. And now it is Rush. A one versus three. I noted the three Glocks, the one AK and a D, but now it's a three versus one. Rush has to pull this back, and he's getting shot through the wall. One pick on to Max. A full minute left to play with here as the ball goes down to the B site. Rush has to make the retake work. Vent rotation is the absolute worst. He's just going to drop into his death. Luke and Stephen death oh, to right. Bullets come through. What? And Luke and with four in the round. They're going to get fired up with that one right there. Zach, bit of a smile on his face in the background. That is a huge round to win. 35 seconds. They're coming up the vent as well. Bree's going to be tested towards the back of the site. Oh, yeah, swing. Rocks now. Getting closer and Breezy won't go wide. Stewie with a lineup gets three and the bomb is down. 9Z with 20 seconds left, still have to walk into the site. It's impassable because Automatic have main. And Stewie shuts it all down and another save on the T side here. David again just retaining this AK 47 and Stewie with a big smile on his face. He bows them out, he has a grin. What's up, guys? Check out hotpizza.gg, a really good case opening website. Recently, Hot Pizza has added really cool new operational cases. For example, in this new case, you can get a special rare item which guarantees you 100% profit. Also, they are holding a new event as well. First, select your preferred payment method, and for every $1 deposited, you get one bomb. Once you get 100 of them, you can open a new operational case for free and get a nice bonus item. Also, don't forget to use my code METS to get 50 cents for free and start opening more cases. The website has many other modes like case openings, case battles, and case upgrades. Link to the website is in the description below. Now, Max with that utility, it would be great to get him involved in this. Oh, Rush is just angle selection to perfection right now, and he's found himself everybody. On the top ball, it's now Lucan running down into the lower side, and Rush is just waiting for him. He's just holding it back to the side, finally. Taking out of the round, the D will not last much longer. Stewie able to remove him, and that's what you get out of Rush. Rush is up here right now, so he hasn't been the early responder to the lower side. He has to deal with Hell and Heaven. The bomb being up there gives him a bit Freeze of anxiety. When he goes in, you're never going to win that. Yeah, but the protocol was we lost yard space, we need to take lobby space, but he's doing it on his own. He doesn't have any help. This is very strung out from EG right now. Y you've got advantages either way. Ooh, here goes David, bomb on his back, remember, and Rush goes into the fight. Bomb now down. It's at the feet of Rush towards heaven. He's calling that. And now Rock has to come up the ladder at the back of the site, though. Cirque removed. The kills keep coming in for 9Z, but 30 seconds. Bomb uh, recovery Rush needed. Wasn't and now that's Rush down, unfortunately. He had the chance, palm of his hands, perhaps the round, but Stewie into the clutch. They're all low, they're all low, but Max 
pulls for the hut swing out. And tied up 5-5, five, five, so Cirque not saving that AWP. You're really going to feel the ramifications. Lobby leaving Max towards outside. He's actually got himself very close to mid, so he can split with him. They come in from two sides. He can check the top height. He's going to get some pressure there. Now Stewie eats an edge towards CT Vent, moves into it. And now Utility forced him into the fight. Rock spams him down through the smoke. Stewie out of play. The backside hole from Cirque will get nothing done. And EG have to concede. Yeah, and AWP in that position from Cirque can be great because you can hit shots, you can continue to pivot around, but the scout, it's just nowhere near as potent. And a force by falling flat here. EG are going to have to take a save. As 9Z are going to now take the lead. Six to five. Ready to jive. Stewie's coming over to try and help him out. And Ooh, Rox is low. player, yeah. Good setup to D. Even the USP could find a kill here, and they have pushed the pipe. They've got some control. In the trade. The kills are coming through, and DGT lines up both. Yeah, needed the trade there. Rush desperately. He's lumped his way in towards the top side here, and is hoping a body or two just falls foul to this position right now. He has fights on multiple fronts, takes the first, and is unable to connect anything lethal. Lucan will deal with that. It's quick again towards door. They're going to blow it open. Start going for the pick, Finally, and this time Sonic. gets the opening, but burns away in the fire. That's only his fifth kill right there from Cirque. So a little bit of action in terms of an opening kill, but they need to work with that. And now returning back towards these yard plays. Wow. Rox, that is ridiculous on to Breeze. What can you do about that? You... <sighs> Rox has been great in terms of these opening exchanges. I'm just looking at it now. He's been involved in five, one, four of them. Lucan's grabbed another one, and now it's on to Rush. This is a buy round. It's falling apart for EG. They just haven't been able to do a whole lot. Stewie picking up the AWP, gets one back. Automatic alongside of him. Does he know that Max is just around the corner here? The vent to top. He had a free kill. Max would have been dead to rights here, but as he heads on up, Stewie's barrel is going to be spotted. Rox, he should get this one. Stewie's down. It's a one on three. Automatic here with Max. And we'll recover the spray. Now they know where exactly where Automatic is. I think they'll be up on the top side with two. One commits to the plant in front of Silos. And now Automatic bringing his way up. Secret reloads as he walks around the corner. And DGT ready for the headshot. Nine rounds for 9Z. Molly trying to force him out of position, but he's in a good spot. Spreading. Finally, the spray forces him into the fight. And Rush gets away with two. Well, that's good because now bomb drop. Rotation coming towards Hell. And you still have Cirque on the right side of corner. He'll be ready for this. They're not checking him. That's an easy kill for Cirque and the Famas. Another swing out through the smoke. Looking into the clutch. Now he's going to be pushed through lobby. They've doubled up through the hut plate. The AWP in this position would be so difficult to make it work. And swings into Stewie 2K. A much needed final round towards the end of the half. He's down. And now they're actually going to play for the ramp the whole way through hell. Look, and here's them coming up the ladder. He's in the smoke. Yes, this is the better position to drop back. You do not want to play still at heaven. Now goes into the fight, takes down two. Oh! And looking with three, shuts the pistol down. EG off to a disastrous start in the second. They've subverted the expectation that we expected them to go with based off the utility that we had thrown. We faked out ramp, we forced them lower, right? We, we've done a double pump towards the top side, and they're still ready and waiting. And now they're pushing Lucan. Not content with this one here. MP9 in lobby two done. Rocks for more damage. Zerg's grab two with the block for DGT here to mop it up. And that is 11. Whew. Rush is trying to stay up or to cut off rotations back down to the site, but there's still already significant forces close to the side of the map. So well, he's going down the vent he as well. He has to come here. down the vent, and Cirque is going to clear. Surely, surely he thinks about this match. Rattles away with the MP9, and Cirque, you had to get that kill. Now they cross into the site. Lucan denies the safe passage to the bomb, and it is just Rush. They're pushing on all sides, and Lucan removes him. Not even a plant for EG. Lucan to push on up. It's allowed them to have a two-man aggressive ramp stance here. And in they swing. Lucan's got the opening. Rush is down. Yeah, Rush out. EG down a player. One minute left as we now go under. 9Z in a good position to try and close this. EG have slithered out through squeaky door. Automatic and Breeze to take the fight towards the back of the site. David playing for Tetris. Oh, he swings out. The only one is surprised. The distraction set up towards the back of the site. It's flawless. Everybody stays up for 9Z and EG topple. They are in so much trouble. They force ball in, back 10, tech 9. They're going to try this top pop again. Well, Breezy looks to be the first player. 3 and 15 now as he goes down early. Rocks. The ready nearly gets caught with an in his hand. They're, the in the smoke. They're right off each other in the smoke. And now Rocks slips around the back. Information not passed on. And Rocks gets away. It's actually looking and finds that follow up kill. It's messy. And it is EG down again the main position. They want to try and apply pressure to heaven, but this is where Lucan is with the AWP. You're going into the lion's den. He's holding. Oh, oh. he's swing wide. Good shot from Breezy. 
kills for him and Vayne's Oh! Twiggy, but he's having a bit of a round now. He's found two. Eventually goes down. Cirk looks up from hell to heaven. The headshot will land. And Rox and Max now into the two versus three. He's holding the cross. Bomb spotted. And the bomb will get him past. Rush then peeks into the doorway and Max now into the 1v3. They had a shot that. They are going to get the win bonus. They will be able to buy into the next. But giving themselves over, they're going to throw everything away. Stewie has to be careful now not to take too much damage. The bomb loses 20 points of health but does get the kill. Max denied the save. There is enough money right now to go around. Lucan has 10k. As he changes his position, EG move in and they relinquish control here on the CT side. But they have moved forward into hut. They snatch that back, that rush out. Good trade. Breeze needed to trade that and he does. Oh, look at the amount of space EG have. But, but Max, not accounting for Max. Max is so elusive. He's just Stewie's in the mid. Dead. They have no idea. Stewie is about to go down. Max, does he reach the second player? or he doesn't? Automatic at least pulls that one back with 20 seconds left. Look at the position of Rocks. It does get checked. Breezy having a couple of good rounds now. And Lucan put in to the one versus two. Well, the bomb should get planted here. 10 seconds left. Lucan, remember the economy situation. If he goes forward, if he fights this, they don't carry anything through. But he's going to give it a crack. He's changed over to the AK-47. He Breeze fancies low. his chances. Breeze is low. And he's playing from Tetris, but... Oh, the angle help by Cirque. If you go wide, you're into the AWP. And even if the miss shot happens, the swing out from Breeze, he should have confirmed the round. Yeah, they might. And this could be a rough end to the round here for EG. They're not going to consider it at all. There's no at way the AWP clears this. There's no way the AWP clears this. It's going to walk right back into rocks. That's the bomb down. But Stewie is behind heaven. They have no idea. He's up in this position. It's one. But his teammates are going down towards outside. So even though he's in a power position, they aren't really able to compete. They still have to go back, relinquish that control to get the bomb back. And rocks the nuisance, is still over here. And finally, Stewie will take his head off. Two players left. 20 seconds. Looking has the and now it's just down to Breeze. He's in the sight, but a clutch needed. The quietest performer to potentially the biggest round here to keep this comeback alive. Flash goes up, pinned at the back of the sight. Breeze with vicious intentions needs to pull off the clutch and he won't. DGT just goes in, straight up fight in the 1v1 and he's able to take him out. You're worried about the radio push? That's a problem right here. There's 50 seconds on the clock, and DGT's DGT. here for a double one and two. Everybody's DGT's. DGT's gonna have to deal with the AWP, and oh, the molly, it burns away. Cirque, he ran out of ammo, but still from the grave. Cirque is going to be kicking himself, automatic. A one versus five, there's no way. He's been good, but this would be unbelievable. 9Z, just moments away. And Max confirms it. Are you not entertained? 16 11 9 Z take map one. And they're not even that fired up, right? It was just systematic destruction. And looking, what a performance from him. Yeah, they should be happy with themselves with some of the rounds that they were able to win right there, right? There, there were some big moments. Utility now going out towards the hay bills. It's going to be an A split in the side. Yeah, and now they're doubled up inside of the side. Looking place towards D4. David towards the back of the side itself. So he clears up the side itself and Breezy oh. follows up, but. One shot through the smoke will land and Max the bomb, the bomb. And this is now a little worrying as Cirque will pull a headshot. But two players still standing for 9Z and a kit on the back of one, remember. So they have got one player into the pit. That's a strong position here for EG to hold in this post plant. And really difficult to force it out. Rox has this flash. That should be the go signal right now. But they're just going to try and do it with bullets alone here. 2v3, it's going to get hard. Now yeah, flash is going forward. Rox now charging into the site. Breezy able to remove him and DGT will hit the deck too. Good start for Breeze. I mean, he needed that. He needs a good start here. Nade right in the back pocket of Stewie. Chunked on down, 49 points of health. Well, he's just charging through the fire. He's going to go around the corner and waiting for him. It's looking. Swing out this time for Max. And those are the fast flash plays we've seen the other day. Oh, and they're beautiful. now coming in again towards top middle. I'm loving this. Still opportunities for this to go wrong, but it requires missed shots, right? And uh, yes. if one misses and the, and the other doesn't, it still should be mopped up here. David finally falls wide and into the crosshair of automatic, but that allows the peak from looking, gives away his position, and DGT instead will back him up. It is now around for 9C as they get the guns out. He's just ready to go. He's, he's just ready to run down banana. He's just held back for the time being. Looking, remove Cirque. I know that this is a, a light buy, right? It's just pistols that yeah. and Kevlar behind it. So, so they're going to make a meal of it. No, no dramas there, as you would expect. And tries to make it happen. They're Smoke. looking through. Yeah, DGT 
He reads this, he expects it, and oh, he's in the position to deal with it. They line up. The GT, two players down. Such an important gun round at the start of play here for EG. And now they're the walking wounded. Cirk, flash play. Not going to connect onto him. Cirk will get that kill back. Fortunate there. Closest teammate is towards CT, and he's held back behind the smoke. Max is coming back now. Flash is going to go, and that's EG charging it into the site. Max, oh, his teammate's gone down, so he can't be set up with distraction. Nearly through the smoke to remove Cirk. Two players extremely low here for EG, and the spam to the cops. Five seconds, no they time. have to plan. They have to start right now, and they will stick to it, and they oh. will get the bomb down. And now we're in to the two versus three. EG are so damaged on the site hold, but they still stand a chance of pulling this one back. Flash is the only piece of utility available right now. They have to use that perfectly to get their way in. It's set up to try and forward. Breezy with a double. Oh, he goes into the open. Rush goes down, and Lucan giving the easiest kills. He's running towards the site. Needs to get onto the defuse. Max in the smoke still. EG, they have to go through it. The time is so limited, he's they have to him. charge they in. He's blocking him in the smoke, and now he comes out the other side. Max with a double. His teammates at the back of the site. Rocks, able to get another. And EG, they've lost significant forces, and now they're on the site. They have to commit again. It's Cirque and Stewie this time into the 2v3 on the hold. Flash on David at the ready. You can see it primed. It's going to enable DGT's peak. There it goes. The single flash, ineffective. Stewie playing towards the left side of the fountain. It's Cirque with one. Stewie with a follow-up and now looking. AWP pinned on Stewie's position. Stewie knows he could buy time. He needs to just draw him into the fight. Looking now switches to the AK, but the time is ticking. Looking needs to kill and Stewie finally gets the round for EG. They needed that one. They had to pick it up. If EG decide to hit this side, they're looking good. Look at dry oh, oh, swing oh. again. Okay, it was a, it was another dry swing, but this time they had the jump. Yeah, they had Cirque on the quick shot. Uh, looking just about missing that one. David inside of the pit is buying himself time with the smoke. They have to wear some utility. Now they're going to try and get on towards the site. But Rocks has taken a position towards the back. Oh, nearly gets away with the second kill on Rush. But remember, David is inside of the pit. It's one kill on to Breezy. Max now coming up short. And Cirque in the site, having to clutch out with the AWP. Trying to figure out, can he get an angle? Can he get a fight? Ooh. Max just oh, removes oh. him. Cirque down. They've had success with the B executes when they've had number disadvantages, and this time round, Max is going to give up his life. Oh, oh. rocks to the headshot. Oh. Looking as quick. And EG down a few players already. Cirque. Might be the playmaker alongside Rush, but they now realize the gap at long, and it's being held by David in a very strong position, oh. but they completely outplayed that angle. Cirque now crosses to the site, looking from the pit. Combat offing doing so much work. And a slight vision of a flick up there. Gap in the smoke right here. Money's not great for 9Z. Do they save or do they go for this? A lot on the line here. Oh, Flash keeps DGT back, and that allows the reposition of Cirque into the power position of pit. Now this is so hard to break open. You've got a player in pit. You've got one up in the apartments. How do you win this? Got a smoke on the bomb. There's a kit in the side. Oh, it's a double swing from the apartments in pit. You really can't win that automatic. Good proactive play there. And EG recover what could have been a disaster. Smokes in for Arch. Library. Charge forward here now is David and Lucan. Lucan is the player you have to oh. keep eyes on. And David Teague has hit the first. Remember, two players still here with premium rifles. David is the player that really should be doing the least amount of work. But Lucan swings. EG toppling. That was the recovery round in the previous. But now EG down again. Wow. What a round right there. It happens every single round chat. They always have the smokes to slow down these B plays. EG are constantly coming through smokes. And because they've set the precedent that there is be players playing in these smokes, EG have to be so careful coming through the other side. This time, Stewie could for one, but Max just swings out of CT and gets a double. That's unbelievable for Max again, the impact he's finding. But they're so far removed from this, they're on the other side of the map. He's able to skedaddle over towards Emo. Breeze now smoked off, but that is a massive gap for him to work with here. And Bomb is already halfway gone. If, How do you win this? If Flash is good, that's going to allow him across the gap. It's not. He looks away. Breezy able to kick to kill. And now looking left into the one versus two. It's done. There's not enough time to compete for this one. And he's just hanging around. He should be able to survive here, I think. Lucan's comfortable anyway. Yeah, so no dramas. We'll get up on top of the sandbox. So.
It doesn't matter, right? They've been able to brute force their way, and Stewie's coming again. Well, Max is playing for first orange. His dark setup as well. Oh, first swing for Max is good, but David down elsewhere. Now Max needs to hold, and he will get cleared out. His teammate from the back of the site, though, looking. Has done a lot of work. He's under a lot of pressure, but he, he can flashes. just stay alive. He can go out and take the fight. EG starting to topple on this B play. Nine rounds looking good for 9Z. As Cirque now down alongside the bomb. It is Breeze now coming around from CT side. DJ's 15 still seconds. Like site on A. Yeah, 15 seconds left. Breeze is looking for the site play. 10 seconds, not really enough time to compete here. Now you just have to hide towards the back of the site. You've got the round. You've That's got it. Plan. You've absolutely got it. You have to just peek, look it straight away to the headshot. 9-6 at the half for 9-Z. Well, Lucan's taken uh, this B-bomb site into his own hands. There he gets three kills. B-Rush, they're up. They've got control. They're coming fast. The only man here is Stewie. The bomb site should be given over if they disrespect this, and they're just going to walk off in. The Glock to fake it, and they flash, they go. They're in. Stewie gets one. Lucan's down. They push now, coming in for EG. Rox tries to fend it off for the time being, but he can't really hold it for long. And now the onslaught of EG. Slowed in banana by the molly. Rush has flashes here. He can try and flash to set this one up. He's going to line that up. Flash going over the top, the peak into top banana, but there has been a bit of a play towards Stewie's position. They need to deal with him now. Max are going to try and take him down, but Stewie, he's strong in this one. DGT towards first oranges. It's first kill for him. And damage done into the pool. Starting to run out of ammo, but his teammate David is holding on. This is Laban. somehow they're holding on to the site. It's just David towards the back of the site and two points running him down. Is that finally. time? I don't know. I don't think so. Stewie's got the kid. He's going to hold it, but the time is going to be close. Oh, Stewie oh, holding oh, it. Oh, they got it. Oh, they just got it. about. They pull it through. Wow. If they didn't win that round right there, I don't know how much more Stewie has to do. Smokes. Flashes. Being deployed as we now hit the 30 second mark. 19 charges into the site, rushes boost, he's blinded and so ineffective. Stewie now gets aggressive, one. Damage deployed under a second, but not able to pick Whoa. up the kill in DGT. Two blistering kills, the second through the smoke on Rush. And now certain Breeze, the OGs of EG, have to try and pull this one back. Even if they send one player out of dark, maybe they neglect to check for the second. There's a couple of options here for 9Z. They go into the fight, that's Rocks down, they're not going to check Dark, and that sets up looking for the immediate peek out. Finally traded, but Breeze, the time, and DGT's aggressive stance forward. It is the reply for 9Z. Coffin, he's now forced back behind the smoke screen as well, and 9Z doing a good job of methodically forcing them further and further back. They go through the smoke, automatic gets into the play. That's going to be the ball down and loose, and now, well, 9Z might have to oh. walk in here, a bit of a stack as they play to in front of the smoke here, EG. They're creating chaos, and in the midst of the chaos, they find their way through the ladder. A couple of players now damaged up. Cirque in particular down on 12, but 9Z, this should have been far more comfortable. And now it's Mission Impossible to try and get that bomb back. CT Smoke has a gap in it here. I don't think they're accounting for this. Luke and oh. must know that there's a problem here, and it just has to step on out to CZ. It's going to be rushed with the AK. DGT's gotten one back. This would be some clutch. It has to. The AK picked up as well here. Rush and DGT's down on 27, so a body shot would be enough. Oh, oh, oh. And the swing out to the headshot. He wants to stop this push forward. I mean, to be with only pistols here, you have to hope that the rotation's lazy. No, Automatic's got the timing as well, just as they were holding. They look away. Automatic goes in, sweeps up three, and Stewie has the extremity. Nine rounds now for Ricci. See the, the halfway molly drop the flash as well. And Stewie retaining a lot of control, but the MP9, not really the weapon for the job. Burnt forward, flashback, fight, good. And, well, Stewie and Automatic combined for two. Yeah, that's a great start to the round here for EG. Rifle going through for Lucan, it's just one. As Automatic trades it out. And this is the draw that's going to be scary to try and crack open in this B side. Automatic and Stu playing together. The piece will CT dry, and Cirque will happily collect his skull. Now just DGT. Left the banana. Ten seconds here to save. And this is something they did a lot on Nuke. Long is now denied as far as vision goes. Up short very quickly here. This is explosive. Very quick. 90 running into the side rush holding. And boy, his teammates have gone down and so has he. Now Zerk pushes forward. He's trying oh. to get something done, but Rox is on the flank and now automatic chipping in. That's a quick rotation from him, but still 9Z with a bomb down. This has to be more on David here. DGT is too low, and they're doubling up. Oh, they're doubling up indeed, but now they need to be careful because they're slipping on by. Stewie just creeps on by, head down, and oh, so well played. Stewie takes down two, and just creeping below that box. They've been caught by that a couple of times now. For what is coming their way, it's a four-man alien right now at EG. They have the dukes in the right place to shut this down. So it goes out, quick peek, takes down Max. Rush elsewhere, happily collecting the second kill of play, and now we're down to 28 seconds and 90. 
significant forces and far too quickly at that. Rush is going to be forced into the outfit. Swing out from David. It's good. Oh, gets back. It's actually looking. It hits that shot. But now they charge forward into the site. They still have to clear out automatics. And remember, Breeze up on the balcony. And it is easy for Breezy. Beautiful stuff. And as we expect now. Uh, could get a little rough here for EG. Automatic still somewhat of a strong position. Rox is trying to peer over the top, and that's not going to start to fade away. Automatic now caught the open, and the Tech 9 to the kill. Bomb down. EG in a bit of a rough spot. Bomb now almost halfway tick. The conversation needs to come together now. Well, Rox, Rox is going to be setting up utility, right? Molly going through with Flash is about to spawn in. Rox! Rox is just rocking the world a couple from the Tech 9, and elsewhere, Max finds the follow up. I think they missed their smoke here. Rush now walks forward. Yeah, they did miss their smoke. Rush needs to be careful. They come around the corner. Rush rattling a few bullets. They line up! Three down. Oh, that is heartbreaking here for 9Z. Rush in one foul swoop removes three of the play and automatic pushes down to confirm control of the map. It is now done for 9Z in this round. And execute, because that has been your only way to success here. 14 now for EG. Just two more rounds as the North American side looking to recover here. Automatic and Breeze sitting back in the pit. Breeze Seven under a HP. lot of damage, barely alive, but still alive. And that could be the difference maker here. You still have to worry about the pit with the site setup. There should be enough distraction. There should be strong enough. And Automatic, he does not crack. He finds three, and Breeze will close for EG. LFO uh, tomorrow. So that right there will be our first team for the Asians locked on in. And then today, the loser of Renegades versus LFO will play the loser of IHC. And that's exactly what's happening here is Cirque. Repositioning now, up short. Well, likely to find a couple here as that looks super ready for his position. The dry swing, oh, almost the double flat. there. And uh, we should call this one done. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Looking and Max, I think too many mistakes made throughout this T side for 9Z. Let's see if Looking can get some style points on the way out the door. First kill on to Breeze. Rush, that Molly's not going to really stress him out too much. They play that position a lot, haven't they, Graveyard? Yeah, they have. And with the distraction of Cirque, it's easy to close it up. And so EG will battle back. They will take map two and force us to a third, and their major dream still alive. Well, either team has a long day ahead of them here, right? Uh, whoever wins this next map of Overpass does go forward to play Pain. And we'll see if Automatic headshots will land. As 9Z make noise, he I now is alerted to the bench play. They peek into the open automatic immediately to the headshot and goes out again. Sports had a lot of info, but now under a bit of pressure, you want to remove automatic from the pistol as quickly as possible. You don't want him to be around for the flash. They're Stewie. waiting for him, but Stewie's helping him out. Okay, well, the savior here, this combo on B on Inferno, oh. continuing to do work. Stewie's grabbed another, and I think this one is falling apart at the seams here. DGT and Max have got a couple back, but Rush will finish him off, and now it is just DGT up close to personal in the front of sight. The Goosh is good. Two players low now. And Rush is going to drop all the way back to safety, knowing that he can't really afford to get caught. So we can play alongside Circa. The shoot is firm in. Peek out from Rush. Circa does the initial damage. Softened up, taken out, and the pistol is evil genius. Further and further, might actually catch them on a bit of a timing here, so nobody's looking for this right now. Oh, Cirk, eventually they will look for this position, but dealing with it is another so factor. Damage. Rush immediately peeks out, softened up opponent, and now DGT and Lucan might be able to just get one, away with one here. Now the hard clear. The one. Rush. Oh, starts to look back. The step, the step actually draws attention back, and they just line up. Was he getting ready to rotate? Was yeah. he trying to play anti-flash? Maybe you can cancel out Night Don, who seems pretty linear in some of his positions, so we'll see how that pans out. But oh, oh my god, okay. Rocks and looking just like that. Two kills to open up the round. Rushing up, looking in to sweep up Rocks. He will get taken out because of the wide swing, and Lucan will happily collect that kill. Now Stewie rushing his way back out, but Simon Breeze left with 15 seconds left. Actually, that bomb needs to go down. And uh, DGT fired the Plantic. Stewie now moves forward from Bank. Breeze making no secret about where he's coming from to set up distraction. Oh. And they're fighting kills. It's just one left. It's DGT in the one versus two. He's taken down Stewie, but now he still needs Breeze. He holds the dice ball. Oh. Shot will land. It's DGT down to 23. The rifle switched out to DGT is just biding his time. And Breeze comes in to sweep it up. That looked like a round. It was a lock in for 9Z, but somehow, some way, Breeze and Stewie make it happen. Control of monsters, they go forward. Do we? I don't think they're going to clear this. Oh, yeah. He has a chance here to maybe drop one. Yeah. He will. Second chance. Maybe Orp will miss. Now Rush tests it in the side. Bomb down and loose damage done on the second. And Stewie is falling back very oh, quickly. Oh, DGT. He's having an absolute 
brilliant round, isn't he? He's just killing everybody. Three kills so far. Bomb will get planted. It's another retake situation. We've already seen a 2-1-3 go against that of 9Z. Will EG try again? They will. Automatic takes down the hero of the round. 2-1-2. Two two. They're going to boost you on the sandbag. You can see the conversation already starting to wear on through. Automatic clears down below. Boost has come in. Now two players need to cross to the side from Hawks in a good position. Actually gets the lineup of both. Circuit automatic locked out and finally around on the board. Down into the water pit. Rush with the elevated position can watch the smoke walk. And David might just go down to Rush. But oh, Lucan wow. actually got the wow. angle. Oh, the second is perfect. Lucan removes that of Cirque. And now, while well, we're looking at 9Z in the favorable position, Breeze and Stewie now moving forward. But it's automatic with a danger play. He goes through, and Connector will not result in the kill. Stewie now alone. No here. He just holds it. He just sticks it. But he has a key. He has a key. Around. Oh. Lucan's got it. Oh, my God. He misses the shot. It's a disaster. Stewie just holds it. And the shock is over the top of his head. Oh, my lord. Risk versus reward here for Automatic. Oh, he spotted him looking the wrong way. It's one, it's two. And Automatic's play will work out for a double. Rush has gone down on the site here. So they know that they're locked in right now. 9Z need to continue forward. They have this space. You can see the bank smoke, the drop down smoke in play. The molly is great too. The truck plant coming on through. It's going to be at the right position to deal with Breeze, who is now coming up in towards this cross. And the off looking the wrong way, but flicks. Still takes down Breeze, and now Max holding for the bunch extension, and now Automatic left in the one versus two. Not only shots past him, time starting to take care. Automatic tries to force the fight onto the stairway, and Max hits the headshot. So, yes, a disaster in the last round, a bit of a nightmare, but... It's an awful lot. He will get on out of dodge. He has got Automatic in bathrooms as well here, playing from long side. Deagle in hand of Automatic. Well, this could certainly find some success, and it will. Looking the wrong way, Max doesn't even think about the bathrooms. Yeah, curious there not to even consider that. He, was he might just... get another chance here for Automatic. Double up, and he will. Body shot okay. this time. Uh, if they just win this one back as easily as you like, right? Automatic's hard work in the previous will come to fruition, but these are the two you want alive, Lucan and DGT. If he can just get that early info onto him, he can lock him in on his sight. Now the that damage. softens them up and allows Rush to be the element of surprise. Not only that, but puts P250 in a point of contest. It's one for Rush. Now Lucan moves on the other side of Dice, and he has separated the fight, but nine seconds. Nine seconds oh! for Lucan, and he's found the look back. Now goes for the clutch, but Stewie will best him on the pistol. Oh, jeez, it's getting tight out here. What a close round. Um, helicopter extraction. Maybe we need uh, some form of teleportation, because they're taking the fight, they're taking the swing. Stewie now, Ooh. trying to go forward. Rush has gotten a kill, they're into this one. Yeah, well, oh, all for looking close this to the shot. Late. Won't land. DGT holds down, and now Stewie swinging wide. The mass is good for one. Automatic follows up. He's Lurkin. defusing. He's so quick in the deep, just being held. He's holding it, sticking it, and off he comes. Rush, not enough time. Surely not. Oh, oh my, my God. God. So close. And that is so, <laughs> so close again, Chad. These rounds. It's not going to extend too far forward. Now it's actually the play through short side. DGT has been impeccable. We'll see if he's able to get something Beautiful. done here. Stewie's head no longer oh. attached and the double to bring down Breeze. Great smoky and defensive. Rush gets aggressive, opens the doorway. Now it's the play into B. They know where he is. Certainly did something. Now Rush on the swing. It's Max and Rocks to bring him down. Six rounds to nine. See, you said they were in a good position for six. Well, they've got it. The explosion with the flash would allow maybe that MP9 to rattle away with rapid fire. And there it goes. Dewey swings and ends up with two. So EG pulled back. Now Rocks charging up for a short catch. Stewie looked the wrong way, but his teammate has kept him in it. Two versus two. Softened up opponents here for 9Z. 60 HP on Lucan. 35 for Max. Nine seconds Not left. Lucan is big. Did he's pulled him into the fight? Now Cirque. We well, knows it's down Can't the time. Him. Oh, Cirque hits the shot of the foot gun. Nine secure for EG at the half. And at least that seven will be evaded. Flash to peak. That's going to blind Max. It won't blind DGT, though. He comes away with one. Max still under pressure and freeze. That's more like it. A double kill on the pistol. Looking still pointed back, but automatic sweeps on in. Yeah, not flustered right here. That is great from Breeze. We call this name, and he immediately delivers. And it's David and Rox. Point from the flower bed. Going for a peek on out. Hasn't been able to line up anything. Now Rox's turn. Spots one going to bind. They're not thinking about it. Rox is now on the wrap. Around, eventually will hit the headshot. Get a little scary for a moment. He knows one's gone into bike. 
It's an automatic. He's the player that they have to try and deal with. Sirk peeks out from Bank. Automatic still undetected. Have a kit for this. And Wings now. He the just headshot for he Rox. He can just hold it. He's sticking it through. It doesn't even matter. Rox has hit the headshot. A massive recovery in the pistol for 9Z. Avoiding those SMGs. A long corridor. Lots of fights. And they're in the same avenue of access back to back rounds. Max. No. Oh! Turns around and finds Rush. That should have been an easy kill for Rush. That was set up, but Max turns, now looking and find Automatic walks right into him, they continue the sprite, nearly walked away with Breezy. And he'll stay up, but now he'll drop back, his teammate doubled up alongside him. DGT goes for the switch, and Zerk and Stewie one getting on picks, but it's a 1v1. Stewie looking to hold it out, tap on the defuse. Pressure put up, but David... He's wrapped, he's come off of it. Stewie now confirms that. Just about blind time. Just about blind oh, response. Oh. Stewie to the headshot. The reply for EG. Good one for the job here for Lucian. Oh, peek wow. out. Okay. Not good at weapons. Automatic looking to pull back. A couple of kills he has. In fact, nice, found one good. of the EG will exactly land where it's intended to. GT's low. This is doable now. Yes, it's absolutely doable. Automatic's play forward. It's Gained him some control back into the round, and he's even taking control for the post plan. Uh, this is hard now. Max is the player that has to do the heavy lifting. It's not lifting. spreading. It's not spreading at all. How has Zerk found that? It's a divine intervention, creating a safe passage for him to stand in the same spot. DGT comes over the top, an automatic check. Shot from Zerk. Now knows exactly where the last player is. Flash out to the oh! right side, and Zerk swings. Double kill for 12. Wow, what a round to turn away. That was a double kill out long with early aggression right there to set up a three on five situation. Jiggle of the pillar and one playing wood. They're walking in. It's about to become an A map here. Holy, going deep. Automatic oh! gets caught in the five seven delivers two. This has given Night Z an absolute miracle chance. A puncher's chance perhaps in round 20, but Stewie wants to try and knock them out. Yeah, it's his way forward up short. Reload on the cross. Spots out Stewie, but he couldn't do anything about it. Now Stewie's swinging into the bridge fight. Max and Rox hits clean. Not a single kill for EG. And 9Z, there's no celebration because they know it's just an opportunity. Hasn't been committed to just yet, but 25 seconds. Here come EG. They're heading in towards this A site. Looking will take down Breeze. Remember, AK still in the hat of Stewie. Goes to the tap up, and now they're ready for him. That's blinded. It is DG2 happily collecting the kill on Stewie. Swings out. The right one goes for another. And as you would expect with the weaker by EG, do topple and 9Z keep it clean. Well, uh, if they stick to this gambly 3 1 setup right now, with 20 seconds left, they have to finish B. Well, 23 seconds. That's not a lot of time here. Automatic. Swing into the open. DGT and Rox and David. He's even chiming in. Rush a couple needed, but unfortunately won't be able to do so. And now bomb down. Breeze running back. What can he really hope to pull off here? With 10 seconds, maybe the clutch. Rox now. He's in the oh, fire and he runs right into it. Rox to the headshot. Close lines, Breeze. And there was a chance there for EG's 13. They have a bit of utility left over to help defend against this. Rox has a smoke. Here they come. They're charging through. Oh! oh, this time Stewie and Breeze crack open the initial defense, and that third player finally chips in. But it's not enough. It's absolutely not enough here for 9C just yet. In the water pit, Rush will be found. And Molly is making things a little uncomfortable. He was burning down to 18. We'll reposition. And now the time is starting to tick. Not a lot of time for this 9Z. They have to go. They have to start going. And Stewie and Cirque, they've shut it out. Looking can't win this one. Finally, EG have got around on the board. 13-12. They once again take that lead. I spoke about the finances here. Rox is going to be able to drop a couple. And David's going to be able to do the same. So the buy will come back in here. But that one right there could have gone wrong at so many moments. Automatic also from short. Utility now being set up for EG. Do you allow that safe plan to come in for Cirque? Breeze pushes deeper, using the smoke to give him a wider fight and isolate it into a 1v1. Rox hits the deck, but David's in the same position. Will he fall foul? It is David who gets aggressive, taking matters into his own hands. Breeze and Rush locked out. And now a two versus three. Automatic. Zerk caught by the flash, and now it's just automatic. Left. David and DGT with the shots, and to the defuse they go to hold it. As soon as they start to throw the smokes, Max is at the ready. Swings! Absolutely swings and gets one. I thought he was going to go down without a single kill there, but one makes the difference. 25, now the long play for Breeze. It opens up a bit of space, now goes back in for a bit more. Now just dropping back and relying upon the rest of the rifles, but Breeze realizes he needs to do it. Goes forward to the fight. Now the swing up for Rock from the stairway as automatic battles back. 
Arm shot and Lurkin unable to get the kill. But they haven't committed to the plant yet. Lurkin, he's oh. under pressure and automatic fights him. Wins it and 14 for EG. Wow, stressful scenarios here time and time again. Remove numbers, but it is the long attack from EG. The majority of players going that way as DGT was actually decided to go to the long side of things with the utility being used up, leaving looking to deal with the one player in bathrooms. Now they force their way forward. Breeze, they all line up. It's a single kill. That is unbelievably strong in the hold for 9Z. Often can be caught in positions that are compromising. Long this time. Peeks out. Immediate headshot. Automatic down. That's the AK as well. They need to scoop that up. Get that back in the hands. Be threatening. Max has grabbed wow. another make it three for Max. He's shutting this down. 15 now for 9Z. It's Lucan's taken down Stewie. It's just Cirque. A single player and of course dead. Max, what a massive round. Coming back is Breezy. He was positioned towards A, but is now Conga getting with the rest of his forces. Max has rotated away here. Now it's rocks. The monster oh! rush to the headshot. Now the swing from David has worked out for one. Nearly the second finally removed. Rush having a great round here. He has taken a lot of damage, but DGT, he's so low. He's absolutely low, but through the smoke, the kill on Rush. Breeze moving forward. Has to deal with DGT, but he's being shot up. He will remove Max. Back to the 2v2 with 24 seconds. Light Breeze goes into the site, commits to the plan. DGT's moving forward. DGT's oh! done EG are not going to the major. It is 9Z whose dream is still alive. Oh, the celebration. You can see what that means. It's just one series, but they've taken EG out. They keep their dreams alive. 9Z have done it in 3, 16, 14.